loves, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love. Today I wanted to do a very different episode for you. Mercury's in retrograde, so I thought I'm gonna take out some of my tarot cards and oracle cards and give you a very, very quick reading, which is going to be for everyone. So, are you ready for it? Let's start off with the oracle cake cards. So these are from Doreen Virtue. I follow her on Instagram. Every single day she gives you a card that lasts for 24 hours. I highly recommend that you go and check it out because she is fabulous. All right, so these are the cards. I have used these before. I'm just going to shuffle them for you. And I'm just going to choose one. Now with these cards, I just, oh good Lord. That one just fell out. You ready for it? Okay, cool. This card says, be honest with yourself. I'll just read you the meaning on the card. It says, look into the heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Learn upon us, uh, lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they will come to you upon angels' wings. Oh my goodness. So whatever message came to you straight away, as soon as I said, be honest with yourself, that is exactly the message that the angels want you to pay attention to. So I'm just going to read, there's like a little book. I'm just gonna read the full meaning of this card. Oh, I haven't done this in so long and I love doing these readings. Um, my apologies if you can hear some music upstairs. My housemate decided to blast the music just as I pressed record on my last two videos. I was like, Mercury is suddenly in retrograde. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've got so much energy. I don't know what's going on with me at the moment. I just feel really good, which is weird because Mercury in retrograde is like, a, it's like the communication starts to slow down and I normally notice my energy changes and I normally, normally have to work three times as hard to get th three times the results. I don't know, but it's, I'm feeling good. So maybe it hasn't hit yet because I'm in Australia. I don't know, but I can't even find B. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Be honest with yourself. Okay. I'm just gonna read this little section right here for you. So it says, you receive this card as a gentle, Oh, Jesus Louise. You receive this card as a gentle confrontation because the angels know you've been hiding from your true feelings. Holy. You've probably been afraid that if you haven't admitted how you honestly felt, you'd be overwhelmed with feelings and faced with making some necessary changes that you feel unprepared for. Yet, the angels assure you that it is healthiest to face this situation with honesty. They will help you with your emotions, relationships, and any support that you need to make positive changes. However, the angels remind you to focus only upon your desires and not upon your fears. Da, da, da. So that you can attract the former and not the latter. Now there are additional meanings to this card. I'm just gonna quickly read this one out to you. It says, the situation will, will, will improve when you face it squarely. You deserve better. Trust your own feelings, even if others don't agree. Oh my good Lord, I know what this is about for me. Don't give away your power to others. Avoid getting caught up in the illusions that this is the way it is. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to be able to share with you what my card is, but it is not the right time. But yeah, bloody hell. Okay, now let's go on to the tarot cards. I'm gonna ask for three cards. Um, I love, look how fat this deck is. Oh yeah, my apologies for my nails, I've chewed them all off. <sighs> I will get there. My nails are going to be beautiful, long and strong. I have beautiful, strong, long nails. Okay, so I'm just going to shuffle these beautiful tarot cards. So these ones I find give me more direction. I'm gonna ask for three, which will indicate the past, the present and the future. <sighs> If you guys would like me to do like a full reading for you, I would love to. I think it's like a 10 card spread and it always helps me. And I always have like a question in mind and by the end of it, I get to the 10th card and I was like, oh, I just feel so much better. It's just like a relief. Oh, I have to watch the time because I'm just about to Skype my friend Amanda in Canada. She's in Toronto or Hamilton. No, she's in Hamilton today. 
Okay, so I'm shuffling everybody, shuffling. So with these ones here, if you have, if you're not familiar with tarot cards, um, I just shuffle. It's really hard because they're so fat. I think there's 96 cards. 78. <laughs> no, I need close enough. Anyway, so I'm just going to shuffle. And I'm going to say Melanie K Love Fam or MK Love Fam. I'll just show you in the bottom monitor. MK Love Fam. All right, so we're going to stop there and I'm going to choose the first three cards. The first one I'm just going to put down on my leg. I really need to have like a camera facing down. Okay, so this first card that I'm going to pick up is indicates our past. Now this is a general reading, okay? So it is Page of Earth. Scholarly, dependent, dependable, patient and successful. Woo! Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. What on earth does that mean? I'm just going to grab my book. Page of Earth. Where are they? Just going through the book. Okay, Page of Earth. It says, situation, blah, blah, blah. A youth who's a student who enjoys studying, someone who can be optimistic but still realistic about what can be accomplished, successful, dependable, patient, frugal, trustworthy. Additional meanings to this card, doing your, oh good lord, I don't know what is happening upstairs but it's crazy, um, doing your own research, wisdom beyond one year, one's years, a return to school materialism. Mm. I don't know if I like that card. Let's go into the next one. Five of water. Let's see what this one says. Things not turning out the way you've hoped. Good Lord. Not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilt milk. Well, it's gonna be plant milk. So what, we were doing lots of study before and then things are not going the way that we've planned. How do they end up? This one. The Moon, Archangel Haniel. Important psychic insights, events behind the scene, release fears that are holding you back. Well, that's the present. So let me just look at um, Five of Water first, and then we will go on. I don't even know which order these are in. Water. What was it? Five. It says, things to me. What is it? You may, things may not have turned out the way you. Now there is somebody on the drop saw. <sighs> I'm going to keep going. I'm going with the flow. The universe is testing me today and I'm smashing through. So it says things have not, things may not have turned out the way you expected. Be careful not to focus on too much of the negative. There is positive in every situation. You may be missing the silver lining. Oh, I made a video about that. Um, fighting or trying to ignore change does not serve you. Instead, have faith that everything's happening for a reason. It's healthy to grieve. Oh, I know what this is about. It's healthy to grieve what has been lost and to take the time to heal. Reach out to friends, family, and wise counselors for support and comfort. Additional meaning, sadness, the end of a relationship. Holy crap, is this true? Wishing you could change the past obsession, crying over spilled milk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. To me, this card signifies that you know how we're going through like a massive shift at the moment in regards to our relationships. There's a lot of people that I know have like broken up recently um, or they are moving house, but there's something that's ending and something that's coming forth. So this signifies the present moment that we are in. So things aren't, haven't really turned out the way we had expected, but the way that it's turning out is for the best. Whoa! Okay, let me go back to this one. The moon. 18. This is a... Ooh. 18. 18! Okay. The moon. Everyone experiences time in their lives when they're afraid or insecure. Mm-hmm. Sometimes these fears are based on external factors you can see, and sometimes worries stem from irrational or unreal concerns. In both cases, it's important to go within and listen to your intuition as to what to do next. Ask your inner self about the source of your anxiety and trust your guidance. Okay, 
The angel sent you this card because this is a time of powerful intuition and psychic ability. However, your greatest insights will be about yourself. Embrace this period of self-awareness to overcome past blocks that have held you back. Awaken truths about yourself that you have kept hidden and see your brilliant light. This is a beautiful reading. Okay, additional meanings for the card. I'll just quickly read that one out. Pay, paying attention to your dreams, unseen events that are affecting you, illusions. It says Archangel Haniel has long been associated with the full moon, intuition and clairvoyance. Call upon Haniel for help in developing, trusting and following your spiritual gifts and divine guidance. My goodness, this is such, this is so beautiful. So it's like, let me just recap our reading. Oh, so you've been doing some type of study, but whatever you have been researching or something hasn't turned out the way that you have planned. It hasn't turned out because of where you thought you wanted to be isn't exactly where the universe is going to take you, but what is coming is so much better and that you need to listen to your intuition, release your fears and beautiful things are going to manifest before you. That's so nice. And then be honest with yourself. So all these cards kind of match up. Let's just get this ready for the thumbnail. Cool. Can we get that? <laughs> That's how YouTube is doing. Oh my goodness, how exciting. By the way, when I just took that screenshot, when I was like looking, which I'll um, screenshot later, it actually stopped on 11.32. Now the number 32 has been coming up so much for me. I did some research into it and it is all about something beautiful, exciting that's happening. And I haven't seen the number 32 come up since 2010 when I left the UK after my two year visa. And I knew that's when I was leaving teaching and I was leaving that behind and I was coming into something else. And I was like, I want to work for children. I want to help people, but I have no idea what to do. Blah, 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 blah. Then I worked for Disney on a cruise ship. Then I worked as like a medical reception and obstetrician and gynecologist and fertility clinic. And then I managed a clothing store, which was hard work. Um, yeah. And then everything's just kind of ended up to where I am. But I haven't seen that number in such a long time. So I know beautiful things are coming. Comment below. Let me know. What are you seeing? Anything like numerology wise? If you see two numbers, add them together. That is um, the, new, the number that you can look up through like numerology on Google or whatever. I'm so interested in this. If you have more information to sources, link me. I would love to see them. Oh, have a beautiful day, my loves. Remember, continue to make better choices. I will see you in next episode. I love you, love you, love you.